I'm sure you've seen continuously in the news, the Houthis attacking ships. And when we see all this commerce coming to a halt or rerouted way along out of the way, we feel it as far as price increases. A couple articles we want to look at so we can prepare for this. And the first one is from Markets Insider. This is a great source, by the way. Red Sea turmoil has sent shipping costs surging 150%, which of course will push inflation higher. Just general goods. They have to go different locations now. They have to use the fuel to be able to push those tankers. And of course, all this turmoil is causing prices to go up. Just when we see, well, are we seeing a decrease in prices? They're saying inflation is going to go up. I think inflation is still going up, but now obviously it's going to start curving upward and we're going to be in bigger trouble. So we see Red Sea attacks have caused shipping costs to rise over 150%. It could lead to a jump in core inflation again. That's a forecast. And then good luck getting it back down. That's what they're trying to say. So these increases are likely to be reflected in rising import prices in the coming months. And longer shipping times will reduce supplies of intermediate inputs and consumer goods. The outlook is actually uncertain, but you know, a plausible scenario is we will see everything remaining high for several quarters. And even if you don't use goods that have been shipped into the United States, let's say you buy nothing but stuff made in the USA, it's still going to go up because as things are becoming more difficult in certain areas from imports, well, more people will buy the stuff from the USA, whatever's left, by the way, you know, so much stuff is sold from overseas now. It's all going to make the whole markets go up and inflation is going to start skyrocketing again because of this and all the extra fuel. Now we even see a shortage of oil tankers too. Shortage of tankers at hand because of the sea attacks divert trade. And talk about irony, at the time when they're trying to make energy transition going away from fossil fuels, well, this happens, dimming the industry's outlook in the longer term. The situation is tight in the tanker market, in particular, the crude oil tankers, and now it's going to be even tighter in the future. So problems with the shipping, we're seeing an inflation, they have to use the fuel to reroute, and now we're also seeing a shortage of the actual oil tankers themselves. What do we see from this? Of course, big problems at the pump coming very soon. From Coin Codex, gas price prediction for 2024 and beyond. And we saw a spike, but things kind of leveling out nicely and they're expecting a little bit go up here, but this is not the concern. This is the concern. Gas price prediction for 2025. The prediction for the upcoming year is currently between $4.29 on the lower end and oh my gosh, up to $8 on the high end. Compared to today's price, gas could gain 25% by 2025 if it does reach that upper price target. So inflation going up, problems as far as getting things in stores coming soon to a store near you and gas prices going up. It could be by the end of next year, upwards of $8 a gallon. That's not California. California would probably be like $25 a gallon, but overall just the average price, $8 a gallon. Could you imagine heading into this? So as we're seeing this war on fossil fuels and using my gas powered car, well, that is the war we're seeing because they're saying, oh, so much of a price increase, they're trying to squeeze people out of this. So prep everybody, get ready for this, because unfortunately, even if you just bought a car and it's a really nice gas powered car and it has good mileage and efficiency, we are going to be in big trouble in the coming year. But we knew that anyway, especially if our country goes into World War III and especially if this it's an election year. Oh, yeah, especially for all this stuff. So big problems coming, guys. You need to prepare and be ready for this because we're about to see things get exceedingly expensive. Thanks for watching.